all up. That's a big strike right there. Oh, no! Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh. And just like that, the sure is a penny shot, Connick. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man. Long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He can kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. So he's really starting to put upstairs and lands flushed. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. They can stop very soon. Oh, big left hook there. Yeah. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. We set it inside the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, presenting the challenger, Finn. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. It's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment 
for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Kelly. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Elbow. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice punch lands. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end. Of it. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean. You cannot take him on one arm. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Great punch landed with so much power. And that one certainly found the target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice nice. Oh, collar tie. Nice. Big head kick land. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kick is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Just misses with that ball. Oh, well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Come on, let's get this together. Listen, if you're down right now, I need you to work. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 <laughs> kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, missed on that one. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Slips the punch. Missed with that attempt. Beautiful head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. 
Nice strike. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He can uh kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands flush with that right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. So he's really starting to put the ball fades upstairs and lands flushed. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. They can stop very soon. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice high kick. He's mixing up his target. He's doing kicks. What he's a doing fight punches. so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of the third round. Including the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy. To